there can be this, uh, this whole sense of um, that my life is not worth living. We want, to, we want to transmit the exact opposite message. We want to say, no, you are valuable. Every human life has value. Once you bring in the principle that you can uh, assist a person in their dying, um, then it becomes almost inevitable that it will expand. And, and we've seen this overseas, even now to the stage of children in some places being able to choose to, to end their life. I know the AMA has quite consistently said they do not want to see uh, these laws introduced because it will fundamentally change uh, the ethos, if you like, of, of the doctors and their role with, with their patients. Doctors have a deep sense of their commitment to healing. Um, you know, doctors particularly work in palliative care. Uh, you see it so often, I've seen it so often. Their great desire to help and assist people, uh, particularly in the dying process, the last thing they want is to change their whole um, modus operandi. They now could be instruments of actually ending people's lives. It fundamentally goes against the whole uh, ethics of the, the medical profession. As a, a, a priest, one of the most uh, beautiful and moving moments often in my priestly life has been accompanying people who are dying. It's an immense privilege and immense honour to be with people. Um, and your heart goes out to them, your heart goes out to the family, but you want to accompany them and help them in every possible way. We want to say to the community, let's do everything we can to assist and support in a compassionate, loving way, particularly to be with people and to encourage them. Just in recent uh, days, I've been with a man who subsequently died this last weekend. And it was a, for me, it was a great privilege and honour to, to accompany him in, these, in his final weeks. And I know that when, when we were there, when we talked, when we prayed, that he was, was on a deep inner journey. And, you know, certainly as a, as a, a priest, if you like, I was able to accompany him on that journey. I think he died a, a beautiful, peaceful death. He was ready for it and he embraced it as, as a journey into eternity. We really want to convey that to people and that is, that's a compassionate uh, expression of our deep respect and concern for every human life. Um, this bill threatens those elements and I think that would be to the great detriment of society if we we abandoned the fact that, that we want to accompany with love and compassion those who are in, in a dying process.